and welcome to this little mini class on Pinterest. Now, many of you may know that I have been talking about Pinterest for quite a long time, actually. I've always known that it's a really, really popular search engine and that it can really help boost traffic to your blogs, uh, boost your email list by getting people to sign up to your freebies and boost your sales by boosting traffic to your offers as well. So I've known this for a long time. I've kind of dipped my toe in the water of Pinterest before, but over the last three weeks, I've been taking it a lot more seriously. And the interesting thing that I have discovered is that in the last three weeks, when I started out, I was getting uh, 257 monthly views. And within three weeks, I'm getting 3,600 monthly views. But the other interesting thing to note is I started off with 18 followers and I only have 21 followers. So it works a bit like Reels on Instagram that people who aren't following you can find your pins. So you can have a huge amount of monthly views, even if you don't have a lot of followers. So it's not about having to grow a following on Pinterest. It's more about just sharing pins that people are interested in, people are looking for, and your monthly views will grow, go up. The other interesting thing that I just want to mention before we dive into what I'm actually going to share with you today is Pinterest is not a social media platform. It is a search engine. And all you need to do is have a look at these statistics here to be convinced, hopefully, that it's a search engine that you should be taking very, very seriously in your coaching business. 445 million people are using Pinterest every single month. 97% of searches aren't looking for a specific brand or a specific person, they're just searching for a solution. 85% of users have shared that they go to Pinterest first whenever they're starting a new project or looking for a solution. And people are actually seven times more likely to buy from Pinterest than other social media platforms. It's also worth just quickly noting that um, the statistics, I don't have them all to hand, but um, a Pinterest pin, its lifespan is over four months. And when you think that Instagram is something like six hours, if that, and the percentage of people who follow you on Instagram who see your stuff is like 3% or something crazy. Um, when you share a pin on Pinterest, you know it's going to be bringing traffic to your blog, to your freebie and to your offers for more than four months. So an action that you take once can be feeding your business for four months. So if that doesn't blow your mind, nothing will. Uh, so today what I'm going to be showing you is how I basically 10x my blogs. And um, we're going to focus on blogs today, but basically you can replicate this process for your offers and your lead magnets. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I very, very, very quickly um, write a blog, get it uploaded onto my website and share it on Pinterest over like several pins and schedule them out. Because that's another thing with Pinterest actually is um, like any algorithm, it, even like Google, it likes to be fed every day. So if you if you if you create like five pins, you don't want to be just like launching them all in at once. You are better off scheduling them. So here's how I super quick, like literally within an hour, write a blog post. <laughs> Um, share it and get it scheduled across um, Pinterest, five times on Pinterest. So the first thing I always do is I always ask um, ChatGPT to help me to write my blog post. Um, it's very rare these days that I write things from scratch unless it is something that's so specific to my methodology and my approach that I know that ChatGPT just won't have the information and the knowledge that I have to write it. But if it's something a little bit more generic, I normally start with ChatGPT and then go in and make amends. So the first thing I do is get ChatGPT to help me with my blog post. And today I thought it would be a bit of fun to actually do a blog post about Pinterest because it's something that I want to learn more about. It's something that I'm finding really, really useful. It's drawing a huge amount of traffic to my website right now. Um, so I thought I would do a post about Pinterest. So this is the blog post that I have created. It's all about um, proven strategies to unlock Pinterest. And then I've got some uh, uh, un unlocking the vault. I've got some um, more advanced exclusive tips in here as well. So this is the blog post that I want to be bringing traffic to. So the next thing I do on Chatbit GPT is ask it to um, give me six hook headings um, that I can share on Pinterest that will draw people in. So on top of the heading it already gave me for the blog post, 
it gave me five other headings that I could potentially use, which I'll show you how I'm going to use those in just a moment. And I also asked it specifically for a keyword rich description that I can share on Pinterest and it gave me that as well. So that's the extra information that I actually ask um, ChatGPT for. And then what I do, and this is very important as well, so I come into just a plain Word document and I copy and paste all of those titles into the document. I copy and paste a main pin title. So I actually ask ChatGPT at the very end, what's the best overall title to give when I'm sharing this pin? So it gave me like a really, really good overarching title. I've copied and pasted the pin description and I've copied and pasted the blog link. So this is just a fresh little document that I create for myself every single time. So paste the headings, paste it. Yeah, so I just want to make sure I'm sharing all of my, um, my little process with you. So the next thing I do is I go into Canva. Now, when you're doing this for the first time, so if you have a look, just if you have a look at my Pinterest, if you scroll down on my Pinterest, what you'll see is further down, there is a lot of links to my blog posts, but they're not um, in my branding at all. What I did here was I paid someone on Fiverr.com to upload 350 of my back back, back edit blogs um, just to get them all onto Pinterest, just because I wanted them all on here because um, I knew it would be a valuable thing to have rather than just sitting there and not getting any traffic. But what's super interesting, if you have a look at this is, and these blogs, these pins were literally scheduled every day for months and months and months. So I was sharing blogs on Pinterest, pins on Pinterest every day for months and months and months. But what you'll see is the views are quite low and there are really not very many clicks at all. So as a project, was it the best use of that money? I think so, because I'm happy that they're all on here. But what's really interesting is if you then scroll up to when I started focusing on Pinterest and I started using branded pins that I had created, everything seemed to suddenly change. So my views shot through the roof. These views then started to grow as well. The views of the more recent pins started to really shift up. And you can see actually that people started to click on things as well. So this shows me that, that when you actually create branded pins, when they're designed to look in keeping, so it's creating a visual identity, more likely people are to look at it and to click on it. So this is literally the pins that I have been sharing over the past few weeks. And like I say, some, so some of these are to my blog. Um, some of them are to free resources. So to my lead magnets, this is the new one I've created, the Prosperous Coach Handbook. This is actually a link to my membership, the Prosperous Coach Collective. And I have just scratched the surface of doing this. I am going to have pins to everything. I'm going to have multiple pins to my membership, to all of my mini courses. Like I am going ham. <laughs> <laughs> on Pinterest. You can see I've got links to free classes, free resources that I've got. Um, so I've really been using it to draw traffic to, at the moment, um, mainly to my blog, to my free resources, and to one or two offers as well. Um, but you can see just how the numbers have grown when I started making them look a bit more designed. So these are literally the ones that have shared this morning. The other great thing with Pinterest is you can actually schedule pins um, really, really easily, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So the first thing that you want to do when you're starting is you want to come into Canva and you just want to type Pinterest templates and press enter. And you'll see that Canva, as always, it's so smart, um, it gives you so many different templates. So you can really pick ones that you feel work with your branding, with who your audience is, with who you are. And what I would suggest you do to get started is pick at least five that you like the look of. So try and pick five that you feel would go together. So for example, I would definitely choose that one. In fact, I might come back in and grab that one. Um, I would choose that one. I would choose maybe that one. I would definitely choose that one. So go in and pick five um, 
um, Pinterest designs that you like. And then what you should do is put them into your branding. So um, literally go in, put them in your colors, just like I've done here. This is all my color branding. So it's all very recognizable. You can see that they're all my pins. So then what I recommend you do is if you're not using folders on Canva, you're seriously missing a huge big trick. Um, you should definitely be using folders on Canva. Um, I've got my Pinterest pins in here, templates, videos, things I should post, um, all of my different offers that I've done, uh, just everything. I've got all of my templates and everything in here so I can find things super quick. But the thing we're focusing on today, obviously, is Pinterest. And now you can see how much I've been using um, creating pins for Pinterest over the past sort of however, however long, three weeks, four, three and a half weeks. The reason this is good is because then you can save your templates, blog pin one, two, three, four, five. This is all I've done. It's really simple. I've got a free resource one. And you'll see that the way I've chosen to do it is I literally say on the blog, free resource, handbook, free class. So that as soon as someone just glances at the pin on Pinterest, they can see exactly what it is I'm sharing. So now for the super quick and easy bit. So all I do is I go to blog pin one, I make a copy of it, because obviously I don't want to necessarily overwrite my original. And then I come in here, I grab the heading, I take that heading out of there. And obviously it's going to maybe need some little finagling. Um, it's not always going to be exactly how it should be. And I actually want to change that to um, a stronger font actually and to a darker color. Um, I don't know in what. Uh, so yeah, so you just literally copy and paste and then that one is saved and downloaded. There's a lot of people ask me how I do things so quickly and this is literally how. So you see, I'm going to the next one, make a copy. I'll come up here. I'll go in here. I'll pick up the heading. <laughs> so quick, super quick. Once you get the hang of this stuff, you can do it so quickly, like no messing around. Just get it done, <laughs> go in, get it done, get it done super quick. So here's another one. I'm just gonna save it just to make sure the export comes through properly. And you don't have to do anything else on here for the moment. You're literally just exporting the image. Go back down again, go to blog pin number three. Literally, it's as easy as this. I'll go into blog pin number three. I'll pick up the third heading, paste it in there. And literally, this is all I do. Make sure it's saved, go in, download, and then go back in, go into blog pin uh, five, I think I'm on now. <laughs> so you can see how I've literally just made, well, I, I was actually on four, um, how quickly it actually is to create multiple pins for one blog. But I'm also, and this is actually part of the huge thing here, I'm using different headings as well. So it doesn't look like it's all pointing to the exact same um, blog post. I don't think I did that one. Let's make a copy of pin four. No, I hadn't done four. Uh, and then get the next. Oh, that one looks a bit crap. Uh, yeah, so some of the headings aren't that great. So obviously I would, in, I would look at them a little bit closer, but it'll be okay for now. So ready to boost your online presence, learn how Pinterest can make it happen. And then let's save that one. So I think we've got about five pins downloaded. You see how quick that was. The thing that takes the bit of time is designing your templates. But once you've got your templates, look here, I've got one, two, three, four, five pins now that I can go in and use. So that's all you need from Canva. You can close down all of your Canva things that you've opened, but hopefully you can see there just how quick and easy it actually is to create um, multiple pins really, really quickly on Canva. People always say to me, how do you do things so quickly? That's how. I just have this kind of stuff set up. I have templates set up. It's all in folders. Things take me no time at all. A lot of people say, why don't you outsource things? Why don't you outsource things? The fact of the matter is I actually don't have to because things take such little time that it just doesn't actually make sense to outsource it. So I'm going to create a new pin now. So, and I've got my title here, remember? So I'm just gonna copy that and pop it in there. I've got my description. I'm gonna copy that and pop it in there. I've got my blog link. I'm gonna copy that and pop it in there. 
Then you choose a board. So I've got too many boards. I wish I hadn't created so many actually, but just choose whatever board um, you want to choose. It, you, can actually, you can actually choose some keywords as well. I'm not 100% sure how effective this is at the moment, um, but I just choose some keywords. And then you can either publish at a later date or publish now. So because this is a new blog, I'm going to publish the first one straight away. So I'm just going to hit publish on number one. But then I just go in, look for number two. So that was one. This is two. And then my link is already saved because that's the last thing I copied. I copied the description again. I copy the exact same title again. I choose the board. And now I'm going to publish this at a later date. So I'm going to let this one maybe go next week, maybe in the afternoon sometime, because I've already got some actually scheduled for next week. So let's go next, was that next Monday? Next Monday, and then you just hit schedule. So that's number two. You just have to wait for it to upload. Then we'll go number three. And I think I had my title, title last. Oh. Then I'm gonna copy my description. Then I'm gonna copy my blog link. Then I'm gonna put it in the board. I'm not gonna waste time with the other things just now. Publish it at a later date. I'm gonna go for the ninth. Again, let's choose a time in the afternoon. I'm not being overly strategic about any of this stuff just yet. I'm literally just getting it done. Like I'm not messing around too much. I'm not thinking about it too much. I just want to get as many pins scheduled as possible. So that was three. Let's go for four. So I think the last thing I had was my link. And I just come in here and I copy my description and paste that in. And then I just come in here. And you can see how I actually get through a lot of work <laughs> very, very quickly by just being super freaking organized. Um, then we go, I think we're on Wednesday. Let's do it. Let's do one late at night and see what happens. I think that was number four. So I've just got one more to do. So yeah, now we just grab the final one. And I actually can't remember what I had last on my, I think it might have been the link. No. So let's get the link, pop the link in get the description, pop the description in, get the heading, pop the heading in. So easy, isn't it? So easy. People make some of this stuff seem so hard and so complicated and it really, really, really doesn't have to be. It can really be as easy as this and schedule. And there you go. That's literally it. So within less than an hour, I can literally write a blog and um, schedule five, six, multiple Pinterest pins um, all within the space of an hour. And if you scroll down, you'll see um, that those blogs will be in here. So there we go. There's one there about Pinterest. Um, it'd be interesting to see how, how much traffic they get actually. Um, but you see, I've got loads here because every time I do a blog, this is the process I go through. So literally that was it. I just wanted to come on and share that with you. Um, so I hope you found that really useful. Um, if you've got any questions about it, um, let me know um, in the description, in the comments. Um, yeah, and I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you start using Pinterest to draw traffic to your blog. If you want me to do a second little video about how to draw traffic to your um, freebies and offers, again, just let me know in the comments. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.